In a previous video, we've introduced Bessel's differential equation, and we've said that a solution to that differential equation is the Bessel function of the first kind, j, of order nu. Now, we also know that this uh, Bessel differential equation is a second order differential equation, so this means that we expect two linearly independent solutions. And the second linearly independent solution is, you guessed it, it's the Bessel function of the second kind, which is denoted by this y here. So again, it has an order nu, and it's a function of x. Now, this uh, Bessel function of the second kind is sometimes also called the Neumann function, and then it's written with an n, so that's just some terminology. So now we have a new member to the, the family of uh, Bessel functions. It turns out, and I'm not going to prove that here, that there's an explicit formula for this Bessel function of the, the, the second kind, and that's the following. So that's cosine of the order times pi times j nu of x minus j minus nu of x divided by sine nu pi. So this is the explicit formula for the Bessel function of the second kind. And with this formula, we can also plot these functions. So if we, we do that, so this is x and this is y, then the zeroth order function, y0 looks something like this, and then the first order looks something like this, and so on and so forth. So again, oscillating functions, but not periodic. And a very interesting feature is also what happens at the origin. There, the function blows up, but in a very gentle way. This is a logarithmic type singularity there at, uh, at the origin. So that's also good to know that uh, this feature is there. Now, if we then combine these two linearly independent solutions, that means that in general, the general solution of that differential equation uh, can be written as the following linear combination as a multiple of the Bessel function of the first kind and then the Bessel function of the uh, second kind. So this is the most general solution to the Bessel differential equation. However, there are some more games you can play with these uh, new functions that we've introduced. So rather than writing the general solution uh, as follows, we can also introduce a new linear combination of these two guys and then use those linear combinations to express exactly the same general solution. So for example, if we introduce a new function, which I denote by h here, which is the Henkel function of the first kind of order nu, and which we will define as j plus jy. And then if we introduce a Henkel function of the second kind, which is equivalent, but with a minus sign over here. Then we can basically, so we can express the h's as, the func as a function of uh, j's and y's, but we can also express, just by solving this linear system here, we can also express the j's and the y's as a function of h1 and h2. And if we substitute that in here, we can also say that a general form of the solution to Bessel's differential equation can be written as the following linear combination as C Henkel function of the first kind plus D Henkel function of the second kind. Now, you might think this is rather cruel to force yet another uh, set of members of the, the family of the Bessel functions to you, uh, because, yeah, Basically, j's and y's should be more than enough. Why on earth are we introducing these Henkel functions? What's the, the reason we're doing that? This is not just to torture you, because it turns out that there's a very clear physical interpretation behind these Henkel functions of the first and the second kind. But in order to explain that, we'll uh, do that in a next video.